Sometimes students get confused. Positive and negative correlation. What's it mean? What's it look like on a graph? Today, we're going to look at test one, section four, number five. My name is Paul Pasolka, Ivy Masters Learning Center, ivymasters.com. Number five reads, which of the following graphs best shows a strong negative association between D and T? Don't let D and T confuse you. D is another way to say X. T is another way to say Y. If we look at answer choice A, as D increases, it looks like T, if anything, it decreases. It's kind of scattered though, but we'll keep our eye on that. Could be our best answer. We move on to answer choice B. As D increases, it looks like T is going to decrease a little bit and then increase a little bit. We can't say it's all positive, can't say it's all negative. It looks like it's negative and turns to positive. It looks more like a parabola if you know what that is. Answer choice C. As D increases, T also increases. That's a strong positive correlation for sure. Answer choice D. As D increases, T decreases. There is your strong negative correlation. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You could share it with someone who has trouble reading correlations off a graph. If there's any question you'd like to see answered from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. And click subscribe so you don't miss anything. Have a great day.